Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome to Andrea Speaks TV. I'm Andrea, back to bring you more news and commentary you can use. Listen, y'all, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is doing well. Thank you, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Listen, y'all, the story I want to talk about right now is so concerning, it almost seems unreal. Okay, y'all, listen, I'm getting reports that there is a spy balloon, um, allegedly from China, that is flying over Montana. You all let me know, or have you heard this story? What's really going on, y'all? Let me give you some details, okay? Listen, y'all, <clears throat> a massive spy balloon, okay? A massive spy balloon believed to be from China was seen above Montana, the state of Montana, and is being tracked as it flies across the continental United States with our current president, Joe Biden, for now, listen to this, y'all. Let me know your thoughts about this. For now, he is deciding against, and I quote, military options, okay? Because, uh, he says, of the risk to civilians, okay? That's from a U.S. official who made that statement on Thursday, okay? Now, still, officials insisted they continue to closely monitor the vessel as they have since it entered the country, entered our country, while voicing their concern to Beijing. Okay, now what do you all think about this information? Um, you know, the first question I ask is, or one of the first questions I asked was, okay, how was something like that, uh, this spy balloon, how was it even allowed to enter the, you know, the United States uh, airspace? Um, I find that, you know, to be very uh, concerning as well. Okay, let me keep reading, y'all. Thank you so much for your support. Listen, um, here's a quote from um, Pat Ryder, okay, General Brigade, I want to say General Pat Ryder, who said, and I quote, the United States government has, de has detected and is tracking a high altitude surveillance balloon that is flying over the cont continental United States right now. Okay, that's what he said in a statement on Thursday. Um, NORAD, N-O-R-A-D, all caps, which um, is an abbreviation for North American Aerospace Defense Command, continues to track and monitor it closely. Okay, NORAD later uh, said in a statement that its commander, uh, General Glenn Van Herc, and I quote, assesses the balloon, does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground at this time. Okay, the balloon, this is all a quote, y'all, the balloon is currently traveling at altitude well above commercial air traffic. Okay, again, you all let me know your thoughts about this. Very, very concerning, right? Um, they also said the uh, Canadian Department of National Defense and the Canadian Armed Forces are working with NORAD and, I quote, other partners to assess the situation, the agency said in a statement, adding that Canada is taking steps to, I'm sorry, adding that Canada, and I quote, is taking steps to ensure the security of its airspace, including the monitoring of potential second of a potential second incident. Okay, the U.S. official told ABC News on Friday that due to the balloon, Secretary of State Antony Blinken will delay his upcoming trip to Beijing, originally scheduled for next week. Now, hmm, isn't that kind of ironic, y'all? Uh, our Secretary of State is supposed to be visiting Beijing next week, um, Beijing, China, and then now allegedly. This uh, spy balloon from China is flying over, you know, United States airspace in Montana. Okay, the official noted that Blinken did not want to blow the situation out of proportion by canceling his visit, but also does not want the balloon to dominate his meetings with Chinese officials. Okay, the high altitude balloon was not the first such craft to pass over the U.S. in this way, a senior defense official said in a briefing, okay, a separate senior official told ABC News the balloon, listen, listen to this, y'all, a separate senior, senior official told ABC News the balloon is the size of three buses, okay, that's, that's huge, y'all, right, the balloon is the size of three buses and complete with a technology bay, which the defense official said they, and I quote, wouldn't characterize as, I quote, revolutionary, okay, the defense of the defense officials said they, and I quote, are confident the balloon was sent by China. Okay, I wonder exactly uh, how they were able to make that determination. Okay, um, 
here's another quote instances of this activity have been observed over the past several years including prior to this administration the official said noting that and i quote it's happened a handful of other times over the past few years it is appearing to hang out for a longer period of time this time around okay my question is did we know about those particular other times okay hold on just a minute y'all i'm gonna pause the video let me get my uh charger Okay, thank you all so, so much. Listen, y'all, please let me know what are your thoughts on this story, okay? I don't think this is a story that just, you know, should be uh, swept under the rug or just, oh, that's nothing. No, y'all, this is something serious. How in the world is it that, you know, allegedly, again, because we don't, you know, we can't, I, I don't know if they have confirmed at this point if it is, in fact, a spy balloon from China. But my point is how was this allowed to uh travel to our country um that's that's a concern that i have but please let me know your thoughts okay and why doesn't our government want to do something about this now um they're saying let me go back to the quote that i just referred to <clears throat> so they're confident Okay, uh, a defense official did say that uh, they were confident, and I quote, they are confident the balloon was sent by China, but why is it that our president um, for now is deciding against, and I quote, military options because of the risk to civilians? Okay, what, what risk are they um, saying could allegedly uh, take place? Okay, all right, let me keep uh, reading, y'all. I got my... Um, screen right in front of me please share your thoughts in the comments again it's very concerning i'm wondering how was this um device or balloon whatever you know it's it's a balloon but type, special type of device or whatever it is how is it allowed to enter the airspace in our country um uh, why isn't our government doing anything about it what is it actually doing uh in the air uh what's what's going on is it taking pictures um, is it dropping something from the device onto the into the air? Like what is going on here? Right. Uh, I think this is a national, definitely a national security issue. But let me keep uh, reading y'all. OK, now. Um, so and they have said this has happened before, but has it been news? Do you remember? Do you all remember hearing about something like this happening before? OK, y'all, listen, uh, Beijing. OK, Beijing uh, first Beijing's first official response to the balloon came Friday with Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Mao Ning telling reporters that authorities are still, and I quote, gathering facts, okay? Um, here's a quote by Mao who said, and I quote, I want to stress that before it becomes a, I'm sorry, I want to, let me uh, repeat it. This is a quote from Mao Ning who had this to say, I want to stress that before it becomes clear what happened, any deliberate speculation or hyping up will not help. OK, that's what uh, was said. This person said during a routine press conference, and I quote, the Chinese side is gathering the facts in hopes all sides will handle this matter in a cool headed manner. Cool headed manner, y'all. OK. Um, also, she added, and I quote, we act in accordance with international law. We have no intention to violate other countries sovereignty and bearing the facts. We hope relevant parties would and would handle the matter in a clear headed way. OK. When asked whether the balloon would affect Blinken's expected visit to Beijing next week, Mao told reporters, and I quote, I have nothing to share at this moment. Isn't that kind of a little strange, y'all? Later Friday, following the news that Blinken would delay his visit, the Chinese foreign ministry posted an update statement on its website, admitting that, and I quote, airship comes from China, but, and I quote, is of a civil nature and is used for meteor meteorological meteorological sorry about that and other scientific research so it appears y'all uh that they are they are admitting that this device okay did come from china but they're saying it's of a civil nature okay what what does that mean civil nature and is used for meteorological and other scientific research so you mean to tell me they had to fly all the way they had to fly this device from china all the way to the united states to conduct uh meteorological and scientific research or could it have been that our government knew about it didn't tell us and the public found out and put this story out and now the government is trying to go back and correct uh their statements or you know whatever is that what happened y'all did our government know about this the whole entire time 
based on, you know, them saying, hey, this is civil, meteorological, and other scientific research. This is what the Chinese foreign ministry um, is saying at this point, y'all. Yes, it did come from China. That's what they're saying. But it's civil in nature, and it's used for meteorological and other scientific research. Did our government know this the whole time? Didn't tell us. And all of a sudden, someone, you know, the public found out, you know, this news started. You know how we're in the age of social media now, right? Someone put this story out and many, multiple people started to say, hey, yeah, we see it too. And now our government is giving a statement, but they're saying, oh, no, we're, we're not going to do anything. Sounds a little bit suspicious, right? Um, listen, y'all, here's another quote, uh, and it says, affected by the westerly belt and its own limited controllability, the airship seriously deviated from the predetermined route. The ministry added, uh, here's another quote, China regrets that the airship strayed into the United States due to force, um, I don't know how to say this, y'all, M-A-G, M I'm sorry, M-A-J-E-U-R-E, -E, okay? China will continue to maintain communication with the United States to properly deal with this unexpected situation caused um, by that force, M-A-J-E-U-R-E. -E. I'm going to look up how to pronounce that word after the broadcast, y'all, okay? And I'll tell y'all how to say it in the next video. Listen, um, or is it uh, force majeure? I'm not sure, okay? Um, so now they're saying that it was supposed to be on a different route, but somehow it ended up over here. It deviated from the route. I don't know if I'm buying this story, y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. Listen, y'all. In the next paragraph, it says force, major, force, M-A-J-E-U-R-E. -E. It says refers to something that is done beyond the control of the government. Wow. Okay. Our one outside expert predicted the balloon could be essentially scientific and set off course, though other sources said it appeared to be, and I quote, purposeful. Okay. Um, One uh, person retired, Colonel Steve Ganyard who uh, is an ABC News contributor, said the balloon looked to be a standard research vessel, which would mean it was unpowered and drifted with the jet stream. Okay, a senior U.S. official, um, however, told ABC that the military balloon was specially designed with a purposeful path. They believe the balloon could take high-resolution pictures and is flying along areas where there are missiles and bases. Okay, that's something to think about too, y'all. Like, what's going on? What are they trying to determine? Are they trying to see what our military is capable of like what what's what's really going on and it, that's why it's so concerning that a device like that was even allowed to enter over those air spaces to begin with okay echoing that the defense official told reporters and i quote i'm not trying to be a wise guy but the goal was surveillance and clearly they're trying to fly this balloon over sensitive sites to collect information okay the defense official also said that the u.s had used and i quote multiple channels to tell China how seriously they are taking this incident and it says we have made clear we will do whatever is necessary to protect our people and our homeland okay now they're saying that y'all said the official who added that if the risk does increase then and I quote we will have options to deal with this balloon okay I'm going to um I want to show you all a picture of the balloon give me just a second hold on y'all all right, so this was a screen grab. The caption says, from a video, um, a balloon is shown floating over Billings, Montana on February 1st. So you can see <clears throat> how you know large it is. And they're saying that it's actually the size of three buses. Okay, doesn't this look very odd and you know suspicious, y'all? I see that it looks like it appears to be, you know, a white material, made of a white material. But then, you know, the question that I have, and I'll point to it, what is, um, this is like a little pen I have. What What is this part right here? Y'all see like this little part of it? Like, what is that? What is that? Okay, so those are some questions that I, I don't know, y'all. Something still to me doesn't sound right about this story. Um, the article does say that Biden was briefed about the balloon and, and I quote, asked for military options. The defense official said the president also agreed with the recommendation of the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, and U.S. Northern Command General Glenn D. Van, Hart, Van Herk to, and I quote, not take kinetic action due to the risk to safety and security of people on the ground from the possible debris field. Okay, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, a senior administration 
official echo that view and said in a statement, and I quote, we acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information. All right, the U.S. official said Thursday night that the U.S. is closely monitoring the situation with the balloon and keeping all options open. Okay, now the balloon was seen over Montana on Wednesday and military aircraft spotted in the sky above Billings were U.S. Air Force F-22s, according to a U.S. official. Okay, let me read that again, y'all. The balloon was seen over Montana on Wednesday and military aircraft spotted in the sky above Billings were U.S. Air Force F-22s, okay? The Federal Aviation Administration confirmed that there was a ground stop in Billings on Wednesday, but an agency spokesperson did not share more details, okay? Um, a senior defense official said that the presence of the F-22s and the FAA's ground stop were put in place in case the decision was made to shoot down the balloon. Um, they didn't take, they did not do that, but that's why you saw the reports that you saw. That's what one official said, okay? Um, when asked why not take the device down, uh, the reporters asked, the first question is, does it pose a threat? The official said, our assessment is it does not, okay? So whatever assessment they did, they're saying, hey, it doesn't pose a threat. I don't know, y'all. Um, they did say that they've been tracking it for some time and we have had custody of it in, listen, y'all, we have been tracking it for some time and we have had custody of it the entire time. Okay. That's what they're saying. It's been over U.S. airspace, entered the continental United States airspace a couple of days ago, the official said. Um, currently they are assessing this balloon has limited additive value from an intelligence collective, uh, collection perspective, the official said, but they're taking steps none nevertheless to protect against foreign intelligence collection of sensitive information i don't know y'all um lawmakers react okay some of our elected officials um <clears throat> members of congress okay on thursday pushed for more answers um house speaker kevin mccarthy we've talked about him before on the channel uh, he requested, and I quote, a gang of eight briefing on the Chinese balloon. And a U.S. official told ABC News that their staff was briefed Thursday afternoon and that they've offered additional briefings. OK, um, here's a quote from an official who said we briefed gang of eight staff in the afternoon to get this information to Congress expeditiously and offered additional briefings. OK, the so-called gang of eight, who are the gang of eight, includes the top House and Senate leaders, as well as the heads of intelligence committees in each chamber. OK. <laughs> McCarthy uh, uh, tweeted, and I quote, China's brazen disregard for U.S. sovereignty is a destabilizing action that must be addressed and President Biden and President Biden cannot be silent. OK, um, and McCarthy quoted, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, McCarthy stated that I am requesting a gang of, of I'm sorry about this, y'all. Uh, let me read. It's kind of like a tongue twister. So many quotes and words. <clears throat> OK, so McCarthy tweeted. China's brazen disregard for U.S. sovereignty is a destabilizing action that must be addressed and President Biden cannot be silent. I am requesting a gang of eight briefing. OK, I, I wanted to go back over it because it was very important to know what our current uh, Speaker of the House had to say about what was going on. OK, um, he here's another quote <clears throat> and I quote the Department of Defense owes Congress and the American people a full and accurate accounting of why U.S. forces did not take proactive measures to address this. Senator Roger Wicker out of Mississippi, the ranking member of the Armed Services Committee, said in a statement, Wicker argued that, and I quote, information strongly suggests the department failed to act with urgency. Okay. Montana Republican Senator Steve Daines requested a security briefing from the Biden administration in a letter to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Danes called it imperative that the government affirm the American people's safety and security. OK, that's and I, I agree with that. You all let me know if you agree as well. Um, they are even wanting uh, the uh, device to be taken down. Um, even uh, Montana Republican Representative Ryan Zink uh, sent out a tweet to, you know, take it down, take down the uh, Chinese, the the Chinese spy balloon is clear provocation in Montana. We do not bow. We shoot it down. He wrote, take the thing down. OK. Um, other uh, government officials were writing letters um, or not writing letters, but they were, I guess, uh, writing 
um, whether on social media or in a statement. Here's one from um, top uh, the state's other top Republican representatives, Matt Rosendale, who wrote, and I quote, it's unacceptable to allow communist China to invade our airspace. That is another clear example of Chinese aggression. President Biden must start putting the American people first and recognize that China is a threat to our freedom, values, and way of life. Okay, the top Republican and Democrat on the House on the House's Select Committee on China also shared their outrage, saying in a statement that the balloon represented a and I quote violation of American sovereignty. Okay, here's a quote that says this incident demonstrates that the CCP threat is not confined to distant shores. Um, is I assume CCP means Chinese Communist Party uh, is not defined or confined to distant shores. It is here at home and we must act to counter this threat. OK, that was a quote by Chair Mike Gallagher, a Republican out of Wisconsin and ranking member uh, Raja Krishna Murthy, Democrat out of Illinois. OK, y'all listen. I want to share this. I thought this was definitely a story worth sharing. Um, we got to, you know, ask ourselves, like, what's really going on, y'all? How did a device like this, excuse me, how was it allowed to enter our country's airspace? Excuse me, there's, there are already um, calls for it to be dealt with. Um, did our government take the appropriate actions? Did our government know about this beforehand and just didn't tell us? Okay, you all let me know your thoughts. Very suspicious. I'm going to follow this story. I'm going to pay attention to what they tell us about this story because, again, they're um, our elected officials now. Congress is calling on um, our administration to be honest with the American people about our safety and our security. And I think that's something that should definitely be done. OK, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Listen, I'll be back with more uh, news and commentary you can use. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll be uploading more videos, a lot of different topics. Y'all let me know your thoughts about this one. Please leave me a comment below share your thoughts. Okay. Take care. Be blessed. And as always, thank you so much for supporting me here on Andrea Speaks TV.